Oh man, there's so many it's people I'd like to get tattooed by. Um, of course, Ralph Nonweiler, he's my favorite right now. Um, Bob Tyrell, uh, Jeff Gogue, um, Paul Booth would be a cool one to get tattooed by. I mean, there's so many to mention. I think I just want, I, I have plenty of space, so if any of them want to tattoo me, I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I would definitely love tattoo by Paul Booth. He's definitely on my bucket list to get a really badass piece from. I guess I'd love to be tattooed by Carlos Torres. He's always been my favorite artist and I've seen his work at conventions and it's amazing. Um, that would be the person who I'd like to get a tattoo off. I told him yesterday, Bob, I want your portrait on my leg. Oh, I've got a lot of uh, tattoo artists on my bucket list. Um, first of all, uh, Nico Hurtado, Bob Tyrell. Yeah, I think that's, that would be the most important two for me, definitely. I would love to get tattooed by the guys that have already tattooed me, like Jordan Franken and Marco Wallace, and maybe Shane Colley from Australia. It's kind of hard to go to Australia, so. I would love from him. Ben K. Jack Connolly. Um, ben K is a big one right now. Absolutely. Um, Dimitri. Yeah. Ben K. I think that's it right now. Like, that's the big one. Jack Connolly, I think. Now, if I was getting it at two, I think that I was getting it by Norm. Yeah. Who would I love to get tattooed by? Um, probably, well, I said their names already, uh, Pooch and Saga. Um, Decker's another guy. Um, these are guys that I, I really follow, um, ask them a lot of questions when I'm doing my tattoos and trying to take bits and pieces of what they're doing. And I just, I really like their, their style and flow, a lot of their color choices. Um, so I'd say, yeah, those would be a couple of my top ones. Who would I love to get tattooed by? That's a tough one, man. There's so many good artists. I, oh, I'll give you my top five, I guess. So, Bob Tyrell, Steve Butcher, Nico Hurtado, uh, Ben Ochoa, um, Poach, uh, Arlo. That's, I'll, I'll keep going, but yeah, there's so many. On my bucket list to get tattooed by, well, I'm gonna be getting tattooed here real soon, as soon as all this laser removal's done. Um, I'm thinking Carl Grace, I'm thinking maybe Paul Booth. Um, you know, there's a, I, I, like the, I like the soft gray realism. I thought about my buddy JP tattoos, but I, I don't know. It's probably out of them three, for sure. Definitely probably out of them three. Uh, my bucket list to get tattooed by, um, uh, like, I'd really like to get tattooed by a bunch of people. Fortunately, worked a lot of conventions, I'm friends with quite a lot of these people now. Um, I'm in talks with Benjamin Locus about getting tattooed. Um, I've met Steve Butcher a whole bunch of times, I'd love to get tattooed by him at some point. Mainly just to watch him up close, you know. Um, who else? There's just endless, like I'd love to get tattooed by O'Karen, Val, like there's so many people kicking about doing unbelievable work at the moment. I don't think I have enough skin and I'm getting too old. I hate getting tattooed now. Oh man, bucket list, who can I get tattooed by? I've already got Timmy B, I've got Victor Chill. I got my Honky Kong already. Man, maybe maybe Bob? Just cause even though I, I work with him a lot, like he's still just so hard to get to sit with you. Or shoot, who else, man? That's a really good question. Aaron Springs is dope. Steve Compton, I like those color dudes a lot. Yeah, Andres Acosta with his roses. I like that color stuff, man. That's a tough question. Uh, who would I love to get tattooed by? Um, David Bega, that's one of my favorite artists for sure. Um, it's, he has almost a symphonic way of tattooing and it's just, it's, uh, I don't know. It's crazy to watch him tattoo. It's hard to explain. You, you have to be there and see him. I, I feel privileged being able to s watch him tattoo as much as I do. And to be tattooed by him would be quite the experience. I do expect to get tattooed by him. 
You know, uh, I'm kind of running out of space to get tattoos. On the, the, at this point in my life, I'm willing to tattoo, but uh, definitely on my list of people that I'd like to get tattooed by. Uh, you know, ironically, I've been fortunate enough to spend this last week with them. Is uh, Nico Hurtado and Carlos Torres? I'd love to get tattooed by both of those guys. I have nothing but immense amounts of respect for them, and uh, I know it's something I'd be proud to carry on my body forever. You know, I, I try to get tattooed by my friends because they're the ones that matter to me, and wearing their stuff matters and the stories that I can tell when people are like, what's that, what, you know, me or whatever. But back to the question, who would I like to get tattooed by the most? Well, um, I've always wanted to get tattooed by Freddie Negretti. I, top of the list, fucking top of the list. Amazing man, amazing tattooer. Just, I just like Freddie. Um, always been really kind to me and really respectful. So um, I have an appointment June 7th and I gave him top of my foot. So I'm stoked. Who would I love to get tattooed by? Ooh, I'd love to get tattooed by Val. Um, just so I can um, see how she does her processes. Like Val Tattoo, I think she's from Russia, Russia? and now based in Germany, I think. Redhead? Yeah, redhead, redhead. Shout out to Val, so if you're seeing this, um, I don't know if you want to ta tattoo brown skin, but like, I'm not really brown, I'm more beige, golden caramel, golden caramel latte skin. Um, color doesn't really go, go good on caramel latte um, cappuccino skin. So, up to you if you want to, if you want to do some work. Uh, let's make it happen or I'd like to get tattooed from uh, Carlos. He's got the sickest flows and I've always looked up to him for a long time. So that's Carlos Torres from Raven and Wolves. Shout out to Raven and Wolves.